All right, here's the next video here. Ready to head to search high and low for electrical cords and connections. Wednesday, 16, 20, 22 seconds here, 2024, fifth month, April, 22nd day. All right. Brother's got just enough. Got some extra cord here for the, for the smartphone connected to the fucking snip wire. So just enough, just enough to get some efforts here. All right. Now the brother's going to with it. <laughs> Alright. It's got one branch off. One branch off at a time. Be sure this is getting on the film. Is that getting on the film? Let's be sure this is getting on the film. Yeah. Gets the next or fucking can't even see with the fucking can't even see. God fuck you. Can't even fucking see it. Can't see the fucking screen. Can't see what the fuck's going on with it. From a distance. Looks like it's... Yeah, there's the brother right there. So that looks like we got something that can actually go down a little bit more. Tied now. Otherwise, that thing will fall over the ground. It'll be hell getting them ropes off. Rolling that fucking log all over the fucking place. Just fucking unravel. Yeah. 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 Can't see shit over there. Go here, cameraman. Before I get a camera girl. <laughs> Search yourself, bitch. <laughs> they can be arranged. <laughs> so here we are enjoying some more lawful weight now instead of legal. Abuse of stuck in the mud patients, bully patients, which is which is part of the bad habit. I mean, it is, there's a good side to it too, you know. But when it flares up, woo! <laughs> it's like a tiger. It's, it's like a tiger, a lion with a fresh kill. <laughs> the, the prideful lion, the prideful lion with a fresh kill. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully that tree will 
It won't it won't lean over to the fence when the tension is let off here. Tension on the rope. <laughs> but it's it seems to be fair enough leaning leaning to the left of the backyard towards toward the wood pile there, so seems like Oh fuck, look at that. We had a little bit of a a little bit of a tension on the rope right there. Woo! Because it's hooked up into the trailer hitch here and it's kind of got a sharp edge when it goes to the hole. And just kind of squish the rope, cut the rope a little bit there. So that'll, that'll let me know next time to put some type of protection around the rope through the hole next time for stuff like that. Plus, if I wanted to, I could get a file up in here in these holes here and file the sharp edges down. That would probably be more of the more of the taste. And plus, put a some type of nice hard plastic, rubbery hard plastic shit. Just see here, show where it started to cut right there. Look at that. Oh, it did. It fucking one of the strands cut. Look at that. Just fucking snipped one of the strands. So now it's only two strands strong right there. <laughs> I'll be shit a bricker. Look at that. Well, that, that gets about 12, 12 less feet. Hey, I imagine this thing's probably 100 foot, so it's still pretty long. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> That wasn't good right there. Didn't didn't spend a whole lot of extra waiting time being sure that all the angles were properly adjusted for hitting that shit. <laughs> so, so, something told the brother that he shouldn't have throttled it a little hard on a couple of them. doesn't remember fucking looping this fucking thing through that many times. It was only one loop. So there was another thing that he did. Yeah, he took the whole fucking loop and wrapped it around the tree is what happened. Yeah. It's quite a knot. This is this 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 is a custom knot because uh, sometimes being up on an unstable platform on a ladder, 
There's not a whole lot of time be thinking to get it all pretty and according to a standard. It's just fucking get this fucker tied down with whatever one can handle with the ropes and sometimes the rope is just too much to fucking handle. Especially this one because it's a fucking three quarter inch rope. <laughs> it's a heavy duty ass fucking rope right here. So it's just a matter of improvising a knot right in the fucking spur of the moment. <laughs> Just get it fucking done, over with, be sure everything looks like it's gonna be secure and tight. And uh, <laughs> that's all that matters. Nice custom, customized, spontaneous in the spur of the moment, Gordian knot to pull a fucking, fucking old ass fucking almost dead tree out. <laughs> In this case, it was pulled out of the ground. <laughs> and, and the wood was so petrified, this wood right here so petrified, even though it sawed through fairly decent, it would not give way. <laughs> the whole fucking group system had to give way on that one. So, they, you know, some would pretty much call this tree dead and gone. <laughs> already dead it was just entering the the fucking mud fossil phase <laughs> converting into a petrified rock <laughs> yeah all the all the fucking this is one of those fucking fern bush type fucking things like this one and it had had its day <laughs> it probably got frozen stiff from an ice storm so Fucking rope is in there, man. <laughs> I had to get the fucking ladder, but yeah, might as well get the ladder. That way I can unravel the ladder.
nice lowering. <laughs> kind of neat how this kind of worked out like that. Get on down there like that, and then get this rope out of the way. So as long as there's a nice lawful weight, it's still nice and slow, and I get all put more soul girl energy instead of all that fucking thought neurotic in a rush fucking hurry shit that always fucking seems to just fucking take over like a fucking Jesus Christ it just fucking takes over <laughs> so I gotta you know gotta put more repetitions in the putting that, that lawful weight in there and just go one small step at a time. No, no use being in a fucking hurry. Just have stuff just kind of sit there. So if one really wanted to, he could go on a fucking hour lunch break and it would, it would all stay right there. It would stay fucking right there. <laughs> but according to a legal safety standard, that would, that would be considered unsafe. <laughs> so there would have to be a relief at lunch break come and continue the project instead of just leaving it right there. I'm sure it'll probably stay there for a long fucking time, just like that. <laughs> Although it has the tendency to just the slightest bit of, just the slightest bit, you start to want to give way. See that? That could have been a, a good windstorm right there. Could have snapped that over. And there could have been a child on the side walking, walking by. Boom! <laughs> Fell right on the little fucker. <laughs> See that? But you know, it would have had to been a pretty good, strong, at least a, at least an 80 mile an hour wind, probably. Probably what it would have took for that one. <laughs> but you never know. Fucking weather, weather, weather control button pushing faggot ass actor. Sometimes out of nowhere, just like the fucking. <laughs> play with fucking weather button just for the fuck of it because he surveils everything and it's all on fucking computer with red flags saying up oh, this this and that this this and that all the calculations mass up if you want to you can fucking just send a little bit of wind over here and cause this brother all kinds of fucking problems teach him a lesson right <laughs> imagine, imagine all that the, the master mainframe universal computer is that intricate it is that intricate. It is high level technology. High level. I'm telling you. It can calculate how to crash a car and where to send the driver and how many limbs are going to be severed, how many scratches on the body, how much blood is going to be lost, and all that. That's how sophisticated the program is. <laughs> high level mathematics. <laughs> and whether or not, whether or not the, the other, the, the other one in the accident is going to file a suit in court, and who's going to win, and how much money each one's going to get, where they're going to spend it all, when they're going to die, and all that other shit, all calculated out quite meticulously. <laughs> but most, most living organisms don't know this, this evidence. They've never seen it, never considered it, and, and even if they're told, they'll say, ah, no way, you're dreaming. <laughs> That's the way it goes. You know, such, such is the condition of the whole fucking, the whole universe, you know? A whole bunch of living organisms uh, are programmed that way by the master program because there's not enough soul in there to want to look at the evidence and consider it. <laughs> it's all just considered a fucking dream fairy tale out of crazy mental ward, off the rails with Ozzy Osbourne going off the rails, have a New England Patriots football game, pay the tax collecting queen who's now a king, always was a king, just a girl, a guy in a girl's body. <laughs> you know, all that shit, so. It is what it is. I mean, it's, and all of that is still just a fucking story. <laughs> and even at that, it's still just a fucking story. Imagine that. Alright, so now... Gotta... Get this rope past through this one last loop here.
like that. Don't need to don't need to pull any more rope. This thing's ready to fall straight on the ground now with the chainsaw. Straight on the ground. Make sure just to get some of the rope out of the way. Don't spend too much time under the branch because you never know. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Button pusher stepped on the candlestick, Dick. <laughs> Nice tree placement right there. That fucker went exactly, just exactly where, <laughs> where the intention wanted it to be. Now, now we got this stump that's sitting here, just kind of sitting here like this with a with a boner. It's, it's in boner position. <laughs> it's a two-headed boner sticking up out of the ground. <laughs> Brother's thinking. Might as well just leave it like that for now, for old time's sake, although it is some nice firewood though. That looks like some nice thick firewood. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> Got that nice boner erection at an angle boner. That's more than a 45 degree. That's that sucker sticking up. Probably, what would they call that? A 30 degree? 30 degrees right there from straight? <laughs> it's definitely a cute though. That's a cute cock right there sticking out of the ground. And it's a bit, it's a bit limp, limp down there. Or, you know, it, it flexes. It's like a real dick. It goes up and down to the side, wobbles when it gets hit. So <laughs> that's because the roots, this, this fucker's dead. <laughs> the roots are dead down there. <laughs> This fucker transitioned ready for Stonehenge. <laughs> so, what the fuck? Might as well. Might as well just. This this is nice just for good old time's sake, just to look at it and hell, my you know th this will give the brother the Sicily brother something to contemplate. Put a little bit of that lawful weight on it instead of being a big fucking stuck in the mud, abusive legal hurry with it. Just let it sit there for a while. Besides, it, it's, it's kind of like a nice ornament. People drive by, they're looking to the backyard, they can see this thing has been cut down. It looks like a boner. <laughs> two-pronged crown. This is the green Manalishi with the two-pronged crown now from Judas Priest. <laughs> People get motivated when they see work that's been done. <laughs> they feel good. You know, you go through the town, you see some of the, the public works city department. You know, they've done some work on the side of the road and some adjustments and shit. You're driving by on the car and all of a sudden this good feeling comes over, you know. And it's like, ah, oh, it makes one feel good to know that <laughs> there's some maintenance going on around here. <laughs> Better they do it than I have to do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Such is the thought, because who the fuck has the time to fucking t to care for the fucking city when one's a fucking slave? <laughs> who the fuck has time except for a hired city slave? <laughs> That's why they're hired. <laughs> and they get paid big bucks for that shit, too. They get paid twice as much as everybody else, so <laughs> just remember that. When you work for the city... You're hooked up. You'll never get laid off because there's always fucking something to clean up. And if there ain't, they'll make a fucking mess and then charge more taxes just to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be the county, the county commissioner and the attorneys with their, let's have a board meeting and vote for something and 
Of course, they got friends out in the town that are part of the club, and they'll, they'll be the only ones there because everyone else has to go to work. So old Betsy Sue and Betsy Ross, usually the old men's wives and wives' friends, are the ones that show up, and they vote for it and make sure everything gets passed. See? <laughs> it's a real nice, clean system way it functions. <laughs> that way, that way, they, that way all the other slaves can think to themselves, oh, shit. Maybe I, maybe I ought to join the city too. That way, and who else, who would there be to tax? Oh, they'll just tax another county. <laughs> Can you imagine one county living off another county's taxes? <laughs> I can see that shit coming. Just like one state living off another state's taxes. Just like, well, what, what's the federal government? <laughs> They're living off, off state taxes aren't they because all the people are in the state so it's already going on so That, that. Even if they get caught, they don't give a fuck because the, the war's on now. Now it's a matter of who's going to win the war even if they do get caught. <laughs> and usually they end up winning the wars anyway because <laughs> they got friends from other nations with nuclear weapons. They'll just point their tank and say, all right, you fucking idiot, one wrong move from you and I'm going to sit gang member Bubba down the neighborhood take care of your fucking ass and your house. <laughs> so you might want to think twice. So the system is really set up. It's already, it's already set up for a win, for a, for a nice win-lose situation. <laughs> well, kind of a win-win in a way. But if everybody joined the club, then where the fuck, who the fuck would they tax? Oh, I know. They they they, they go to another planet and find some fucking useless fuckers over there to turn into slaves use their labor and tax their ass come up with a fake money system it just jumps from planet to planet they run out of planets and they go galaxy to galaxy they run out of galaxies and they go jump a universe <laughs> if they run out of universes they just jump god <laughs> there's always plenty of gods around to come up with because they're usually just stories in a book <laughs> it's all that's why it's all probably just a fucking hologram Probably, but you never know. It's just a story. So let's trim this bush right here. Time for a break. Anyway, one gets the one gets the idea of what it's like to trim a trim a tree with the loppers and saw it up with the chainsaws. You got 30 minutes worth of extra video. The main thing was getting that tree coming down on the picture. <laughs> you seen one guy trim a bush and cut firewood with a fucking chainsaw. You seen him fucking all. So the story goes. <laughs> All right, later. Besides, this thing's got too much fucking problems with the fucking CIA hacking the fucking smartphone and all the fucking YouTube videos to fuck. Huh, you dick fuck ass. Little child actor now. Remember that. All right, talk to you later. <laughs>